So very early on here, we're going to see the result of this game. Really, who's going to have the lead by 15 minutes? Because if C9's jumped out to a huge lead, they would be in control. But if they haven't, Team WWE might take this one home. But you know exactly what game plan they're trying. It's only slowly building. But every time Aurelian Saw goes missing, further action goes bot side. This time, though, the Aurelian Saw is actually top side. Coverage for Impact TP in the WWE also. But actually, Impact might be OK. Jensen, he's going to make it. Maybe in time. 957 goes down. First blood to Impact and CA. Forced to flash. Does get the counter. Killers Jensen now already burned the heel. Might have to flush back towards the turret. Is trying to buy a bit more time. And WE they'll pull away. Condi almost goes down as well. Actually, Jensen Jatamata. still fighting Shia, but that um bad times there. The voice of light. Oh! Up, Jensen snipes him down. Just hit level six. Popped it out. Got the mana for it as well. Things go better than expected. And I think WE was surprised that sure they knew Aurelian Soul would leave lane, but going top side that wasn't the original plan of this draft. They're just on information. It's a human ward here from Condi. Condi's in a smart position, but this can also be a five-man dive for C9. So Condi will surprise him here, but what does C9 bring? They got yep. Shen as well. Now the Nova. Here comes Jensen. Stun already lands. Is Sajin had it going to be committed? Condi flashes up, but Impact follow flashes for the kill. Dive they want everybody. C9 looking for a Jensen going to take a few turret hits and Impact. He's going to go in next. Tornado down. Mystic flashes out of the stun, but Ben, not so lucky. Smoothie over to take him down, and they get first turret gold on Jensen. Get him too. Mystic down, Mystic. Barrier pop, but that's not enough. Four thousand gold, eight minutes into the game by C9. When you draft up these early game compositions, this is exactly what you're hoping for. Basically, this entire game, they haven't been allowed to push out that far, but the decisiveness to make the call now is going to be a fun thing to track. Because C9, this is their time. To Team WWE's credit, they have two far side totems, and now they're going. There's a feeling of flight flash side of the freaky, getting a stand United Smoothie. Oh, together, trying to survive the feast, makes that easier. She ain't able to get that kill. In fact, still moving around, but Jensen finding the flank does good damage to Condi. Mystic, though, allowed to free here. They're going to take to the control, but a great job. They can move the back in. Mystic, able to take down Jensen. That's two kills they didn't want to give away. And it was one team fight away from breaking. They get Smoothie, they take down Jensen, and they're actually pushing a power play right now. It was insane how good that ward was. It placed much earlier. A flank TP aggressive move made at 20 minutes, and the prize is going to be big. And unfortunately for CNN, this has kind of been one of their things. They've improved so much over the last 18 months. Never mind, though. Actually, initiation started. Contract is going to get silenced. Change United, not quite enough. Get knocked into the bounce house. 957 takes an impact. Made it in, but Ben barely alive to monsoon his way to safety. Jensen burned the ulti for a lot of bursts. But WE again live with five. Ben not dying there. Means Arden senses up. Means that the team is still healed. If that's trying, though. Mystic got torn to damage. Still not enough through all the heals and the barrier. Forcing the fight. Ziggy, he burns down the Shia. Finds the snipe. WE do it again. Aurelian Soul was silenced. So it actually protected all five. Oh, no. Jensen tried to make the play. The Shia gets a double kill. Takes him down. And Cena walk in and in and in and all die. These fights are so close. But WE have drafted such a double are their bread and butter, and the bread and butter right now is stronger than the American Pie. Sneaky again, just can't really stay here, and this turret's gonna melt. C9, no, they need to make a play, but they need to set up, can't find it. Silence again, finds out, and they're sneaky, getting a knock back in, no, oh, not quite enough in the Gragas, and now C9 gonna try and tread through, but Ben is doing so much work with that Jaina roll team. C9 just cannot hold, they're gonna lose this in, and maybe more sneaky to the next target, but he nets out from under Condi's body. It's like 957, though, wants to take him down, Locking is good, Jensen, back from the dead, out of the fountain, oh. caught that, into the turret, they grab the shutdown. Yes, also taking a little bit too much, but Mystic took down Jensen and goes down to Sneaky. Jensen is the one who carried that fight from the back end for C9 because that was nearly game over. They can group up for the fast cone if they want. Ooh, 957, maybe caught actually. Contract gonna commit the ultimate, the run to dodge by everyone else. He's actually taking a lot of damage and forced a flash fast from Condi to separate the rest of the fight. C9 looking to regroup Sneaky, need to be careful, oh. Mystic. Such a big crit from that net. Oh, for a little bit longer. They're just gonna push up here. Now we're forcing the fight. Shea looks pretty one sneaky for the stand. Now it's gonna keep my life contract. Finds the dunk of the rubs to tag sneaky. Now again, Condi gonna get locked in impact. Follow through with the taunt. Maybe caught a little too fast. But it's refuge nice as well from impact and mystic. Moving forward, but the W's gonna wear off eventually. And our contract, beautiful tornado, stuffs the re-engage. He's at half health right now, and the minions are no longer there. That puts Team W immediately into the bear, and they're forcing this. They have the show gap. Sneaky again moved up the Baron already down. Good face there from 957. In fact, into the back line of C9 trying to play this Jensen. Knocked up by the rupture. Silence. Not gonna quite follow. Mystic kept back by the voice of light. Frontline holding though for WE. 
Yeah, no real initiation here. Cask is down. WE are all about walking up to an objective, having the tanks in the front, and using their double AD carries to park them down. We're actually seeing C9 make yeah. a straight translation to Elder. Yeah. Describe how the frontline battles will go in this particular next fight, though, because the armor stacking has not happened from C9. Understand it, right? Yeah, going for a contract, splashes in. In fact, also getting pulled through. Grundy, maybe in trouble with the rest of WE are here. Grundy eating down the impact. everyone to pull at the back end of that fight. Because the sort of stand we saw from C9 around Baron was only possible with two lanes pushing and it's two super minion waves. That'll be really hard to do. Nikki in trouble trying to heal back up with the Arden Sensor, cutting around a lot of that. CC actually in high five seven. Nikki in trouble. CC third stun by the guy goes down to Sneaky. To actually use that and still die, just not enough there for 957. Well, inside track for WE onto the mid inhibitor. And it is down for now, but again, Super's riding in. Might threaten the Nexus tower at C9. Gonna take the long way around, maybe. This could be a big point of conflict. Team W want this control so that they can then cheat towards the Baron, but C9 don't want to let him Pony out. split on the Snake. He moves it back into the team, and the Wildgrass is burnt down now. 957, the target for Mystic is unleashing hell. Again, WE now actually on the wrong side, but Impact took too much damage there. C9 don't really have cooldowns. Yeah, track them on both sides. Stand United wasn't used. Ben has his ultimate, just redemption to heal everyone to full. Very unsafe as Sneaky keeps taking pot shots from the Corky. C9 forced to see Baron control. Condi even looking for the flank here. Not gonna land it, Sneaky. Be careful! Contract doesn't quite get the knockout, but there's the stage down and the wild growth again. 95 seconds of target, Mystic, and Condi almost go down. Jensen did so much damage with his ultimate. This is where not opting for Warmogs and instead going for Stoneplate Locket is actually hurting C9 because Contrax has not been able to heal up as many other Warmogs tanks would. Meanwhile, Ben did heal fairly substantially with the ultimate, and 957 has Warmogs. It's lose lose there. here, the battle's so low. All right, it's on base. Jensen not here, Contrax maybe can find a miracle steal. Doesn't get it. Flashes out to safety now. Impact trying to tank the burn of the damage. She moves back and it's he's done. Done. taken down by contracts. 5v4 for C9, but Baron went to WE. Notice there are no summoners on the initiators, but summoners on all the carries. It's so difficult to pull the engage Condi once. 957 can't get in. Elder Dragon over to C9. Impact over to Tall enough. They're going to try and burn down the front line with the Elder Dragon buff. Sneaky going for the damage drop. Mystic is positioned well. It's so tight as a redemption oh. reveals them. But oh my god, that damage. Voice of Light flashed out of by Mystic. Contracts though still going. Looks to dunk Shie. Almost goes down, but he flashes out of the way. A lot of indecision by Team WE right there. They didn't know if they wanted to commit two inhibitors or fight at the Elder Dragon. And then they end up picking a fight against an Elder Dragon C9 team who burns multiple summoners on Team WE and now push. Because it's difficult. 82,000. Wow. It's a lot of people. Contracts was double. Mystic no, actually has to the front! He's gonna go down! Oh, we actually killed Sneaky before he died! 4v4, 957 late to the I don't fight. know if they have the damage here, C9. GA might have enough. Impact pops the stone play, but 957 is chasing. Here comes Condi, looking for the flag. Silence Rump chasing onto Impact. Body slam on a contract with Impact flashes out. Not back on a smoothie. Cask is not good. But GA, he's still a marksman. Gonna try and shoot down C9. Jensen looking to buy time. Boys of Light pushes them back, but it's only two. Gets interrupted. They're still running as contract goes back in, flashes out. To say all teammates. teammates right now because one team still has an AD carry. It's Shie from the mid lane. That's why they're feeling confident right now. I just couldn't actually stutter steps. All right, stutter step. Roller coaster is not done yet. Baron is up. Condi flushed up in the Cataclysm. Everyone's back alive though. Mystic running back towards his team. Not there Go yet. In a temporary 5v4, but 957 here for the flank. It contracts are so much work under Condi, but now Mystic finally arrives. Rupture misses from 957. Redemption reset both sides of the team fight. Mystic kicked out. He, he took down Jensen. How is Mystic finding these crits in these team fights? It's still hard for C9 to run through, but without a rally soul there, here they come. Sneaky has to play the fight of his life, but CA straight into that. Damage is too many lives for longer Condi, but then takes him down. Mystic fighting contracts, but he gets that kill. And WE make it three, make it four as Impact goes down. Critical strike, Cogmore, of all things in a tournament, dominated by the Rage Blade Witsen on hit build. Got the crits it needed, took down the targets, and WA win a slobber knocker of a game one. Absolutely. Absolutely insane. In hit goes down, and WE at just barely 54 minutes will best C9 in the only team fight they needed. And now 957 doesn't want to play Maokai. It's not a good pick nope, to Sin. Sin absolutely destroys that pick.
Jensen has been lethal on Oriana this year, but the pick is uh, okay. Away. So Chesh is here for a counter. Yeah, looking for a contract. Trying to throw something up. Knock him. Oh, oh, last follow. Contract. What's this? He's one more. Last one. Oh. Interrupt. And contract. He does grab first one. Jensen going to try and escort his jungler to safety. Shield to land in, and he may get away here. Flag drags out. I think that shift is really good. They might go for it now. Claw shield down. Yeah, that mounting good split from Impact. Jin's gonna need to find the ulti. Wakes it out. Great flash from 957. They still can think about going for the next one, but the longer they show three people out here, the more they're gonna lose that inner turret down bottom. He's also gonna gank this in the And now Pony's shooting the full contract. Does take out 957. Burns his flash to get out from under the turret. C9 should take this down, but WE gonna get their spray. They take this near two first. Or their pressure top side, and they still are top side as Ben might come and face check. The biggest prize though is, of course, Music does have some up and that's the next CC! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
957 has been starved of farm thanks to facing up against a sin so they actually have a ton of burst damage to get on him early the question is how do they turn back to baron the Tarek baron is insane he heals everyone up with the ardent sensor and his q condi's gonna have to go for heroic skills down to four thousand already you don't even see it late tp condi Aggressive impact tries to move the rest of the team away. See us on the track. Just three hitting. Trying to disengage. Sneaky took down Condi and are going to make it out to safety. Actually, keep going, Cloud Nine. I think they know they can make something happen here. Dazzle is good. Five nine five seven stuns him up there. They Look on. Oh my goodness, they call Mystic Jensen. They would have grabbed the shockwave and the assassination. Now she is the next to go down. Jensen with a crucial double kill. Impact Singe drifts through the team to get into melee range of Kogma and flip him back. Things you didn't expect to say today, Papa Smithy, is the theme. Huge play by C9 as they take Baron. But I more have to decide. So we have to ban it. If they're willing to blind pick it and we don't have a strategy for it, that might have to just be a permanent ban. Yeah, and remember, it was blind picked after so many of the other top laners were banned away. Shogath was banned, Shen was banned, Nar was banned. It felt like Maokai was the only pick left, and that's exactly what C9 got. They're going in! Yeah, Mystic, no flash. They're just gonna try and get a suck. And Jensen assassinates Mystic just with the ultimate, and they break the bottom in him turret. C9 not done as impact, looking for a flip. Maybe a little too far forward, but still, defense is there. He's actually so tanky with the help of his team, and 957 is not so lucky. Sneaky finds the next kill. C9 might look to push this for the win. Tank line down, Mystic down. They're pushing. Tony Corky for Wave Flare. Barambo still good. C8 needs to play the defense of a lifetime to try and let this one happen. Tony trying to dive back in, but C9 peel away. He gets so sneaky. Oh, they take him down. Flash for crit to seal C8's death. And the next is open as Cloud9 tied up. Gentlemen, we have a series. And also make the plays around the map potentially aid the Singed and Talia is available. They're well, going in. Contract is here. He I flashed already the flashed. Yep. Oh, doesn't it. quite connect, but the slow might still be good enough. Damage is there. Impact in a tank one. Turret hit. Make it two. Oh my god, that rupture Dead. was amazing! First blood, nine, five, seven. Big turnaround there. Gets the kill. Contract should only walk away in disgust mid lane. Remember, ignite on Chia. Getting aggressive. Jensen with his summoners as the sapling doesn't quite tag him. She's pretty far behind the Cho'Gath, and you're gonna have to deal with some stuff going down later. But Mystic has flash. He's got some contracts. Maybe gonna try and outplay. Doesn't quite read. But the tornado is good. Still, damage turned back in on the smooth. He gets Polymorph and forced to flash away. Sneaky, too low to try and keep fighting. Well, certainly C9. Pretty even kill here, which is good for them. Although Bet gonna get a crest on. That heal may save his life. Aggressive. The and the shield is get him. Sneaky gets a kill. They're gonna go for two. Mystic, no summoners left. Sneaky outplays them. Sneaky and smoothie in lane. 2v2 Mystic and Ben. That is massive for this game. And it was in a losing matchup as well. It's so big against the pressure bot lane and pressure now mid. Jensen v Condi. Oh, the shot barely missed. GA does take that contracts in Jensen. A heartbreak to not get the kill. Flash auto is in. Trying to block it out of the way. That auto was not good as Jensen gets a shield by Janna. Teleporting in with impact. The question is, are they forcing too hard? Because they're committing maybe even five if Jensen comes down as well. They are more than going for a play TP in from 957. Could call it off. Jensen coming down, 957, running into fear. It's gonna get knocked back in. Sneaky taking through the turrets, but Jensen, huge shove there. Sneaky now gonna drop it off the 957, and that is not enough. Jensen barely gets to kill Monsoon from Smoothie. Trying to reset the situation. Contract dunks Ben and forces his flash. But Condi a little too low. Getting the charge down as impact will get that one. Sneaky still low. Mystic weaving auto attacks in towards him, but they just walk away. Remarkable restraint for C9, who still are doing the opposite of what you would expect. Full dive on Jensen. Yep, oh, 1v3 right now. Condor's gonna try and save him. That's not nearly enough. Two can play the game of playing around mid lane and sending a three-man dive. That was a vintage C9 move in the regular season. Jensen, with no flash, is punished. But C9 now trying to collapse as well on the mid lane. Just think about, oh, I'll hold the point. Undone to hit for Triss. Tornado, not enough. Smoothie flashes in. Actually, maybe gets a little bit. Now, Condi, he's that dead. Yep, dead yet. No flash, no chance. Sneaky. Jungle Maokai is a low-income version of Maokai. They are so far behind and also lose the scaling. First turret going down gives C9 a big early game lead. Smoothie also experience lead and a sensor lead. As oh, okay. Good, all right. Also, 
She is level 11 <laughs> against Jensen. This Mi game defying expectations. Mystic flashed already, but Contract's there with a dunk. 3v3 though, but Mystic still trying to make it happen. Sneaky gets through to Pachana. I think it's a little too much. Sneaky goes in with a rocket jump as Contract collects credit. She is roaming down from the mid lane. C9 has to get out of here and fast. Well, John and Passive gonna have to kick into high gear. She is gonna try and make one snipe happen. Sneaky, you no know, ulti does have flash. Dodges the first shot plus. Keep running though, Condi. He's gonna try and take you down. Rocket jumps out of the way. Monster Bruchana! Sensor! Tornado! She goes down to Sneaky. Condi's gonna go down as well. And Ben, my goodness, smoothie out, played the hell out of that. She is certainly a threat. Sneaky gets a bit of aggro, but Rocket jumps away. Run away. Thundering blow under the tornado there for Condi. Now the TP's in. They have to throw everything in, but they can't get it. And WE flash out defensively. Impact looks for the flip. Fights it up to Condi. Condi flashes out of the way. 957. He wants the piece, but Mystic gets knocked up by the next tornado. Condi, you are not very tanky, my friend. No. They're hoping that shock blast would do a lot more. Doesn't quite catch Sneaky. Darwin now has a chain vest and the ninja tabi, so he's happy to start standing in the front. If it's not hitting Smoothie or Sneaky, it's not really getting value. They start the Baron in yeah. vision. And WE knows this is it, so Jensen actually cuts them off. What a wonderful wall by Jensen C9. Have they timed it correctly? It's a little too early. They're still going to be able to have a chance at a steal, but they back away. They give it up. They get two-thirds of the turret on the first push. Reset for the next wave. Oh, they take oh, him all the way in. You all the way in. He's dead. Smoothie gets the kill somehow in and amongst the chaos. What? <laughs> this has been a terrible game for Condi, right? He's gotten pitched down on his jungle pool. They don't give him a lease in. And we mentioned how important it was going to be for him to find success early. It just has not been. He had so many options, but went for Maokai jungle of all things. They rolled the dice and then some. I think they could have gone early game and not come. It could have been his famous Lee Sin. They went for the Maokai. It has not worked. That inhibitor is dead. C9 just waltz on through. Jensen already prepped the next wave. Baron still up for 10. Two minutes, sorry, as impact. Zoning away Cho'Gath as C9 take a second inhibitor. Sneaky is over 4,000 gold ahead of Mystic. Just compare the items between the carries to see how out of hand this game has become. They might look to push for the win with the Baron up wave in the mid lane. Even in a 5v5. So hard, 24 minutes in, they're gonna try and end. Here comes Mystic once again. Still no IE, just a crit cloak. Yeah, you think that C9's being a little bit too greedy here. Should probably just back away and go get the third wave, but they're riding that wave of confidence right now. Maybe that Shock Blast will determine up. Sneaky again, if he can hit some minions with a shield on him, it's gonna peel up real quick. TP back in from Impact. C9 gonna try and end the game. Hard to get the waves all the way in at the right time. Ground on impact, looks for the flip, flashes in, forces the wild growth. Turret one dead. Yeah, Super minions in. will be arriving soon. Sneaky taking again, Raptor, beast, silence! Oh my god, impact! Saves his carry, but Sneaky still getting jumped up, makes his way out. Condi goes down, and the last chance saloon is closing for WE. Nexus turrets down, Baron still there, and Cloud9 do the unthinkable, do the impossible. They are one game away from winning a quarterfinal. Cloud9 against an early game comp, blitz Team WE. They need to have Xie do the same thing as what we saw in the last game, actually draw attention from C9. Super C9. Very risky teleport from Impact right now as Tali is already in position to roam up, knowing that Jensen was just down at the Drake pit. Yep, Xie with the wall, gonna try and cut Impact off. Impact with a great pillar! An ult 957 to try and get away. Good flash out of the seismic shot, but Condi here to try and lock oh, him oh. down. Knock up is good. Impact ruptured after the silence. Will follow when the first blood goes to 957. Might even take it himself if he feels like doing a bit of jungling and Contract looking to steal away the Grump. Gotta be careful. Contract wins the smite fight. A little Dead. Unfair. Oh, Bosco already out. Contract's blast through. Really heads up play. Tried to blast. A flash onto the blast cone and Radius couldn't get their second kill. Handed over by the side of C9 as Impact. Maybe just trying to take down the blue buff because he knows this team won't be in a position to claim. Because when you talk about magic damage on Team WE, there is a lot of it. Uh, and C9 can itemize very efficiently for as far as tanks are concerned. Shoot forward there for Jensen. Condi actually maybe now trapped, forced to get out of the way. Ulti oh. the they're actually going to go in for the other play. Shockwave is good, but the damage isn't quite there. She flashes out of the way, but now Contract Splashes is in trouble. Condi fighting where he can. Jensen yeah. kills good, but she gets the snipe. And the extra gold is so important there. Couldn't take down Xie, could flash to safety. Not enough oomph on the Shockwave that time from Jensen. And another nose ahead for WE. As Mystic and Ben are just ahead. Here we go. Seven little sneaky. Can't burst them out of that one right now. Chain CT is good. The Condi Radius might save him for long enough. Buys time with the Feather Storm, but where can he really go? He flashes up at a wonderful wall. We'll give me.
opportunistic to kill. Just so far up. They end up burning everything and dying anyway. That might have been one of those situations where you just decide to die. We're seeing week one and week two, Team WE with Mystic also. Some kills, hitting his item timings. Ooh, the chocolate has done lands in. That could be a kill, but a great combo there is not enough. That's a really big play for C9 if they can start getting this control. Freezing the goal lead becomes much easier when you have killed the jungler. It's probably going to be more around what can happen bot side because Chogath had to be called over. They need to actually take the Chogath out of mid lane to actually have a chance to take down this turret, even though it's very low. Grouping up with the Terek has been C9's best strategy when they've had it. They're just going to continue to pressure this mid lane. Don't find Sneaky. He has ulti. Jensen forced splash up, and now Ben is going to force splash as well. Healing up from Smoothie's nice, but Mystic is massive. He snaps contract. Jensen, he's going to be next as GA takes him out. 3v4. WE are winning these trades. Smoothie could have used his ult earlier to try to force the outer turret. He didn't. He tried to hold it for the right moment. It was too late. You talked about it, Jack, from behind. So hard to time. Comically late. And that means C9 give up two kills. Are we going to be consistently further and further behind? This is not enough gold in the game for C9. The tank line in particular to be tanky. And oh, with Mike. And Jensen kind of gets out. Great shot there with the recombo. And C8 on a well-deserved killing spree. Smoothie falls again to Mystic. And the flash. Silence. Rock shot. Feast is all good from 957. And C9 trying to scout the river before Smoothie's Tarek ultimate is up. It's exactly where Team WE wanted them to be, and they might answer C9's 25-minute win with the 25-minute win of their own. C9 just keep pushing up too far for their own good. They are not strong enough to take the minion waves they're looking for. They need gold. They're a slave to actually getting more items, but they're not even going to be able to get anywhere near them. Every time they hit minion waves around the middle of the map, they're going to lose more objectives to Baron already. It's just impact here. Might just be first down. Here comes she, eh? Pops the ulti. Bit of extra health, but WE full rotation to the bot lane. Yeah, and that's a very big cooldown for the Trundle to lose. When he has the Ravenous Hydra, he is no longer tanky without his subjugate. So easy doing for Team WE right there. Gets the control wards. Weaver's wall, they want the next. Beautiful. I think he actually the one trapped in. He's like, oh, I don't really like this at all. But the turret's gonna fall down. I said. It'd be good if they didn't lose it. Well, they can't. They might go oh, into the back line. Ulti popped by Smoothie, but I don't think that's going to be it. Jamming in the front side is Condi actually maybe a step too far, but Ben finds only Sneaky, but Mystic starting to unleash. Better Storm pulls it back, but Mystic still looking for the snipes. He's not on Rampage as he takes down Contracts. Ben had a snowball QSS to QSS to Sejuanio, of all people, and then held onto his combo till after the Tariq ultimate had fully run out. He still got into the back line. They still got a kill. They got the objective they came for. So good. C9 feels like they're heavily oh. out of options right now. Beautiful wall. Impact the only bit of defense right now. Ben zips back towards Mystic, and Mystic's just like, yep, 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 yep. I'm chilling out. Ooh, good ult. Actually, I think tanked there by Ben. QS has it up, but Mystic's still there. Shockwave is good. They killed Mystic. They killed him. Managed to take down the threat. Still, C9 moving forward. Cannot be too aggressive at Condi. He's actually going to go down to Jensen. Grabs himself a double kill. 957 is going to be the third, and C9 hold. No, C9 does want to go in here. It's going to be really hard for him to get the vision. No, They're going all contract. out for this. Actually, took the Banshees out. Condi ready and in. Cloud9 going to keep trying to press the play. Impact walking up there. Blast cone. Doesn't even need it to escape. GA with enough. Carrick ultimate down. Condi still has his. Team WE want to unleash the Recombo on them right now. We have a lot of options. They considered teleporting into the base to take an inhibitor. They don't. They put down the weave as well. No one really caught out, though. Baron is up. That's why C9 wanted to make an aggressive play, I think. But again, using their cooldowns offensively and getting nothing means it's WE's turn to waltz towards the Baron. 60 more seconds on Cosmic Radiance. Team WE just waiting for that engage onto C9. C9 doesn't want to give this up. Oh my god! That engage was nasty! Mystic rooted up, and C9 are trying to get out of the way. Tara kills though, probably not oh, enough. Shoot, 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 though. Four man has ripped through with the feather song for Sneaky. Might turn it back around. 957. Stone played up and up for too much. Five where his contract starts back in. In him respawns. Impact gets the kill. Contracts though, he did go down. These fights are not that favorable for Team WE. What looked like a dream engage from Rakan didn't have the immediate follow up from the team, and C9 splits the fight. It was Impact has to be in base to clear that minion wave. Weaver's wall goes off right now, and Team WE just straight up starts it. I don't know if they have the damage to burst it down in time. Weaver's Wall is down. C9's gonna run in here. Yep, Contracts again looking for the play. Sneaky late to the fight, but it might not matter. Ulti defensive finds Ben Shockwave. He's gonna clip the regard. He makes his way back, giving the cosmic radius. He's actually good enough. Sneaky though. Chunked up by Shia's Condi. Re-engages with the Cataclysm. Gets his way out. C9's not looking for it, but Smoothie. He goes down. The healer is dead.
And C9 playing a 5v4. On the side of all this, Sneaky was DPSed out, wasn't able to put on a piece of damage in that fight. WE straight back on Baron. They're gonna continue to try this one. Smoothie not there to heal the team. It looks like all but secured. Smoothie contracts by Tri- Trying for steal. heroic space, good. Q's in, no has gone, gets himself out, but Ben, he will find his way over. Contract, maybe now just buying time. Permafrost up, Ben. The rest of WE split into the lanes. Contracts knows he's likely dead. He just has to kind of waltz them around the rift and uh, hope nothing too bad happens. There's not a lot of damage around except now Togas oh, here. Oh no. A delicious meal there for 957. Oh, Condi actually gonna grab it. No feast available is why. And again, the aggressive trades continue mid tier two. Will stay up though. Fading back for a wall angle. There's a good one. Gonna cut them off from the turret completely. Pillar under the minions, but WB turret gonna take down the turret. Great geometry here with these Weavers walls. This game perfectly bisects the entire team of C9. It's gonna be three exposed inhibitors, two already down. And let C9 go for the fight right now. Contracts is trying to get the angle. They have to as well. I think C9 know the pressure they are under. It is so difficult to win a game when you do have all three in hips down, and Baron Buff is still on WE for about two minutes. Yeah, they might even stay here until they can try and kill the Nexus. It's forcing C9 into a choice. They have about 15 seconds to make this fight. They're going in, Cosmic Radiant Team, and a good recover. Actually, there's so much effort, just Smoothie still trying to fight it out. Jensen doesn't have the shock of a Mystic, kills the tank after the invulnerability wears off. Contract's gonna get sniped as Mystic grabs himself the double. WE poised to take this inhibitor and the game. One of the best case scenario fights, but unfortunately not the damage on Sneaky to actually take down the front line after they grouped and clumped up for the Orianna ult. This should probably be the game as the minion waves start to group. Super minion still coming in with Baron. As you mentioned, 3v5. Here we go. Flash. Barrel scooping in for 957. Trying to run interference on the carries. Ben leaps forward. Tara dead. Nexus to expose. This series has been good to WE State. Let's play another. The final quarterfinal heading to game five, and Team WE prove that they can bounce back in a big way. Just watch these two. There's always so much conversation between Reaper and Jensen. Definitely matching their opponents here, Sina. Flex catches Condi, stands now to committed. They want to go for a power frost in. In fact, should be able to ride in. Ulti not enough. Oh my god, Condi almost saves his own life, but Jensen, he'll be the one with first blood. Contracts sniffing for an ultimate. Going, going in. Going all in. Here comes Shen. 4v2. Ben, he's going to be the first one to stand. They're going to try and gain the Arden sensor. Ben, Monsoon, not enough. Is now Mystic the next target. Jensen, he's also here, but she had made it through. Truckman fights up both after Mystic Flash and Cloud9. They get to. They're looking for the third. They'll get it all. Disaster for Team WE in that bottom lane. She teleports down instead of ulting down, then gets caught in the shockwave without being able to ult. Might as well be, yeah. Contracts ulti force the flash by Mystic Summoner Spell. Yeah, but they still have a lot of protection left for him with the Janna ultimate and shield and heal. Contracts and ultimate. Off, Wave in the choke point. Jensen has a lot of damage. Condi actually going to be found. Flashes out of the way. Stands from that. Trying to go all in. They're committing. They get the permafrost and she is ulti. Will deliver him in, but now he's jungler is not there, 957 needs some rage, but Mystic, he's just going forward, they need to kill this damage dealer and cannot do it, Impact, he'll die to she has wins of war, and 957 looking for more, Blast Cone is good from Smoothie, but C9 make a trade. From the Kog'Maw Q, gets rid of any resistances he may have had, and Sneaky's gonna have a hard time getting away from this one. On the verge of getting 2v1, good flush out of the barrel, Lulu's here, Sneaky just has to dodge everything, the Polymorph is good, sorry, the Whimsy actually for a bit of extra speed, and he gets out. They're going for mid priority instead of second Infernal Drake. Yeah, looking for the play, no flash though, and takes a little bit of damage. Mystic though, just barreling into impact. Oh, the stun lands on the Mystic. Chia there for the ultimate, almost a move completely. Full health cog after all that. Jensen getting chased out by 957. He's about to go mega. Flash it, fight in our contract, tries to defend, but he cannot get it as Mystic will find the kill. And our contracts on the wrong side. Blast cones out, but I don't think he's safe. A lock it, they are already out bursting with heals the damage that is coming from Jensen. They weren't able to take him down. Contracts on the great escape, but a very worrying omen for C9 that when everything hits, they still can't pick up a kill. Yeah, and they don't get that much more damage. By the way, Baron is up. You expect the Infernal Drake to be a thing, but now Ben keeping Contracts away and Team WE trying to do Baron. It is on award. What a great play by Ben to just force this kill to Mystic, around. most likely, or they're trying to burn it all the way down. Impact's trying something. They're just going to try and finish it off here. They can get it. They don't have a smart. Remember, Condi is here. A miracle steal could keep C9 in the game. Condi, though, waiting very patiently. And now Sneaky, caught out by Mystic. He's going to go down to the living artillery.
This is the point in the game that Team WE wanted to hit, where they have the super strong Kog'Maw and Ben still keeping contracts at Ben. I don't think they have the damage to penetrate. The turrets are dying. C9 are in full base defense mode, but they're gonna try something. Ulti finds only Ben looking to try and impact it in. Shockwave is enough to get the kill as she has ultimate. Does move in, but Impact able to get the kill. She again, just tanking it all, and the turret goes down. Cena forced back once more. She dives in, trying to find something. Permafrost is not bad, but Mystic just unabashedly hitting this inhibitor, and it falls down. That was probably the best case for C9, killing the support before Ben can use Monsoon, and they still lose the inhibitor. The help with that turret dive. Number seven caught out of position, almost goes mega, That's and the C9 turret. don't overcommit, but the turret. TP in instantly, and now the inhibitor is exposed. C9, you must go now. They're trying to hold off as long as they can. If they can keep the Shen ultimate, it gives them more flexibility down the road. But Team W does not want to leave before killing this inhibitor. Oh, drunk wave actually on a Mystic, Doesn't but matter. again, it might not matter. Jensen, he's gonna get CC. Clan splashes out of the way for WE moving forward. Shia is impenetrable as Sneaky is just try as he might to get him down, but the turret goes down. C9 found the jump, and it wasn't enough. Feels like they cannot put a foot wrong as Jensen ganks 957, delivering Baron basically to WE, but I don't think they can fight for it anyway. WE only getting closer to the semi-final. And they played these last two games so clean. Always keeping the right waves in the right places. Now they're trying to catch out Impact. Just everything, even going to check to see what Impact was doing as he just runs away, flashless, has his ultimate, but he's not going to make it out alive. Impact, he will fall. Mystic, of course, will get it. And this means no Shen for 50 seconds as Team WE look to assault the final inhibitor turret in the mid lane. Feel the crowd. Only getting louder. Shie displays his flair proudly. WE rebuilt so long ago to finally make it back to this point. Five years since their first world's appearance. And they're just going straight for it. Shie flies over the Caitlyn traps. They are ignoring C9. Yep, 957 again just pushing the tank away. Sneaky is doing what he can. But there is little that C9 can hold on to. That third inhibitor is down. Baron still up for two more minutes. Team WWE looking to become the second Chinese team in the semifinals, probably on this push. Mystic insta cleanses out of the way. 957 pushes them all the way. The shockwave is good, but it will not be enough. Impact is trying to make it happen, but Mystic, the champion, the hero of WWE, will hold on. They weather a brutal storm, and Waterley will push themselves to a historic semifinal. Listen to that crowd. That is what they came here to see. A victorious Team WE playing around their style. There will be tons of questions about this series when you rewatch and analyze it.